do I want to be here? I don't know. Has anyone seen the Emma Chamberlain video where she said she's going to post her art on a wall? Gemini to Gemini, I think that's a great idea, and here's why. Because I feel like a lot of gurus suggest that you keep one of your, not one, <laughs> at least one, hobbies or talents not monetized because apparently that leads to unhappiness, which makes a lot of sense because then you're not doing anything for fun anymore. So I have two paintings here that I did. This is definitely like two of those pieces of art that um, people go, you know, I could have done that or is that art? But you know, I'm okay with it because I just wanted some kind of abstract, like, especially this one. I mean, that's just, anyway, great idea to um, accompany these two paintings with some art that I've done over the years. I actually haven't created a lot of art recently, which is kind of sad, you know? And I, I think I used to, when I was younger, create more art for fun, want to do that but to, ins to inspire myself to start creating and get my creative juices flowing, I figured I'd just post some old things. And I feel like, why is it frowned upon to celebrate trophies and stuff like that up? Because I feel like, at least for myself personally, you kind of forget that you're good at things or that you have things to celebrate about yourself or that you've accomplished things. And then you're like, wait a second. I've actually done shit. Let me show you. I have like an inner battle of whether or not that's narcissistic or not, but I feel like it's in a way not because I forget it's self-love. People have a problem with everything, am I right? So my apartment is atrocious because my family just left with them like literally immediately like a day later. So I may just like post that stuff um, after I get back. Also because my acting friend and slash dog babysitter is coming over to watch my dog and I'm kind of self-conscious of her seeing like a bunch of art hung up because maybe she too will have the battle of me being a narcissist or just a bad artist, you know? Yeah. <laughs> now that I have the camera rolling, I feel like it's very therapeutic and I just want to sit here and um, talk to myself, I guess. Today I watched an interview of the girl from Haunting of Hill House and you. And it was so incredible. It was like one of those ones where they strip all their clothes off slowly and like expose themselves and they're like naked metaphorically and actually. I don't know, I thought it was so special because I felt like as an actor or an artist, actually a performer. I feel like it's very performer specific. You're expected to have a certain kind of personality, extroverted and in your face and flamboyant. I feel like that's very accurate. People expect you to be very flamboyant. I don't know who these people are, but at least people I've met. And it always made me feel like a fish out of water or like I was in the wrong profession or like I wasn't meant to be here, like some imposter syndrome. And I don't know, watching that was so refreshing because I could feel what she was saying. She feels hypersensitive, how she started to accept that. And that's like her superpower because like your differences are your superpower. As corny as it is, it's, it's, it's so, it's, ridiculous how as you get older like slowly you start to realize these sayings are actually true but what makes you different is actually your superpower and i feel like we, i always try to cover up that i was sensitive or try to put on a flamboyant face but i'm not flamboyant i'm introverted and i also like to act and shouldn't that be okay like isn't there space for me to I debated making a YouTube channel for a long time. I still don't know if I post this because I want to be an actor and I want to be taken seriously in my craft. But the reason I act is because I don't, I want people to feel less alone and I want them to feel like their stories are heard. If I can do that, if I can make people feel less alone by exposing myself and my struggles and 
my life, then I feel like I'm still on purpose. On purpose. The plan for today is that um, I record my audition, which I did, and then um, I have to plan a rehearsal for my recording with my teacher, which I still need to text him about. Then um, my sisters, my brother, my, my brother, my boyfriend, not my brother, and not the both, not the same. Um, my boyfriend is taking my dog out. My sister's at her casting. That leaves me cleaning the apartment. And then we're gonna go to the Century City Mall, which is like the nicest mall. I just discovered this. It's like the nicest mall in LA, in my opinion. And you don't get those vibes, like, it's super chill. You don't get the vibes, like, people are like, oh my god, what are you doing here? Which I experienced the other day when I went to, um, I think the Glendale Mall or something. Ugh, like, all the faces look the same. Let's start there. I don't know what ethnicity everyone is over there. Not everyone, but a lot of the people. <sighs> and yeah, I was, like, the only person of color walking around. And I, and I didn't notice it, but my dad was with me. And he said he noticed a lot of people giving him funny looks and shit. So we don't do that here. We're going to Century City Mall where we loved. I want to replace my fanny pack because I've had this fanny pack I've been taking to the gym in the airport for like two years and it's bright red and it's velvet. And um, yeah, I'm just sick of it not matching things. So I'm rewarding myself for going to the gym by getting a new fanny pack. I have my coffee here. It's absolutely fucking delicious. Look how exposed I am. Look at my open cabinet. I left it open. I can't even blame anyone else. But I have this coffee here. Literally made from the dollar store. Just go to the dollar store first. You know, I have to learn that. Like, go to the dollar store first. Check out what, like, random goods they have. This time they had black Starbucks coffee and... I think a pea protein, that pea protein um, cream, coffee creamer, and I actually am obsessed with it. This coffee creamer is so thick, but it's not like too, it's not too sweet one, but it's thick enough where it's not just like putting milk in there. Like you might as well put milk in there, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's just a one. The whole thing's good. I, I feel like Emma Chamberlain. I watched the video. She's made it through the video, the ring style, and now we're just hanging out, you know? Me and her on the TV. <laughs> was there seriously someone screaming in the background of my video just then? Nothing surprises me in the wood. Beautiful. Yeah.